One of our Closebot AI booking bots just had an entire conversation with a lead where they got their phone number and even scheduled them for a follow-up call, all without me being there. And I want to share everything with you today. So we are using Closebot for our AI booking bots because although we love high level, Closebot integrates with high level and I feel it does a bit better job right now with converting leads and it has so many other features that I'm going to share with you. And most importantly, they just announced that they have an entirely free plan that you can get started with right now. So let me share with you exactly what that is. So if you go to howtoprofit.com forward slash closebot, the link will be down below. You'll land on a screen that looks something like this and you'll be able to go and start a free account with Closebot just to try it out, see if it's for you. If you are brand new to AI chatbots, there's no harm in trying a free account and seeing if Closebot might be something that you wanna use. We love it, we use it for all of our sub accounts and for our clients as well. So we want you to give it a shot if you want to. You can see a free user here and then as you scale up, uh, it's very affordable and they have an entire white label version too so you can have your clients building their own bots if you want to or you can just use it yourself and build the bots for them but we'll get into that in a different video i want to show you what this bot actually did on our account so you can see here that we have a conversation that happened this is for one of our concrete sites we've been doing a rank and rent video where we show you how we rank a site on google and then we start capturing those leads and then now we're in the process of renting that site out to a local in this case concrete company but you can see this conversation that happened and what happened is a combination of high level and closed bot which is really cool so we got a missed phone call and the missed call text back feature inside of high level texted them back with this message hi this is katie concrete Sorry, we missed your call. How can we help? And then that person responded, said, hi, we have a commercial property in Houston. We are planning to extend our existing shipping dock so that 18 wheelers can access the dock. Please give me a call to discuss more on this. Thanks. And then I wasn't around and thankfully Closebot stepped in and said, absolutely. I'd be happy to discuss the details with you. Could you please provide me with your full name and best number to reach you at? The customer responded with their name and their phone number down here. And it says, thank you, Jay, I'll give you a call shortly. And I can't quite read the bottom part. But just to prove to you that this was Closebot, it wasn't me manually doing this. This is the back end of Closebot. You can see the conversations happening back and forth. The orange is where the customer responded and the blue is where the AI chatbot responded. So it says, thank you, Jay, this is the last message. Thank you, Jay, I'll give you a call shortly to, ex to discuss the extension of your shipping dock. Look forward to speaking with you. So you can see all of this happened. We wouldn't have captured that phone number if we hadn't been around. And more importantly, the customer, I've seen this happen already when I didn't have an AI chatbot or something responding to people, is that if I ever waited even more than an hour to call them back, they have already called three or four different other companies and gotten other quotes. So this is a great way to not only capture the lead information, but also let them know that we're going to be calling them. So in their mind, that task is off of their list, right? They have somebody that's going to be working a quote for them. So what we then took from this lead is we reached out to a local concrete company who's been taking a few of the jobs that we've been getting from this site and we forward the, this lead over and now that concrete contractor let me know that this looks like it's going to be a really promising lead and should turn into some business for them. So the next phase with our rank and rent site is now that this is converting and I think they have one other that they're working, we're going to pitch them this coming week on renting that site out from us. So all of this happened with high level as the front end, meaning it captured the lead. And then it also did the missed call text back. So it was able to text them back so they didn't start shopping around to other companies. And then more importantly, it got the information. It got what kind of job the person was looking to have done and let them know that somebody was going to call them back shortly. You can be far more extensive with this, like actually booking somebody on a calendar and all that. But I just literally set this up as the bare bones for this site because I, I didn't have time to build it out yet and it already did a great job of capturing multiple leads. This is just one of them. So I'm really excited about the possibilities of what you can do with AI booking bots. And then if we start adding, running Facebook ads or other ways to bring in leads even faster, now that we know that AI can handle that conversion, then we're just be, gonna be in a much better position. So that's what I think is going to be the future of most local businesses is needing some sort of conversion mechanism other than relying on their staff who sometimes runs out for lunch, sometimes takes a day off for being uh, sick or, or having something come up or going on vacation. These AI chatbots can do a lot of the conversion for them. And again, if you go to howtoprofit.com forward slash closebot, you'll see uh, you'll probably land on a site that looks like this. 
And then all you do is click to sign up for free, or you can check out the pricing too. And you can see they do have a free account, which will get you going. It'll give you one bot to try out. And then as you scale up, you'll see um, most people will move up to the unlimited bots feature as you get going and have multiple different bots. What I love about Closebot mostly is that not only is the founder, Bryce, one of the most genuine people that I, I've ever met in this space, and he really, really cares about the product, but also there are so many advanced features that you can do with these bots. They have not just one goal that they can do. So what I like to do is have our bot have multiple different tasks that they're trying to complete. Number one, getting the name and, and email uh, and phone number. Number two, getting what the actual job is that the person is trying to get accomplished. And number three, either letting them know that somebody from our team is going to call them back or getting them booked on a calendar for an actual appointment for someone to come out. So you can get far more advanced with this. We have some in the real estate space where it first asks, are you looking to buy or sell? And then if it's to sell, then tell us a little bit about your current property. And then it goes down that whole path and tries to get them on a calendar. If it's to buy, tell us what area you're looking for. Are you pre-qualified? All the things that come in with the buying space. And then sometimes we find people that not only need to sell, but they also want to buy a new home. So that's an entirely different bot. And Closebot allows you to have multiple bots with multiple agendas and then hands them off to the next person or the next bot in that case. So maybe there's a bot that does all the pre-qualifying and then the next bot is just customer service, reminding them about their appointment and answering any general questions that they have. So you can do all different kinds of things with these bots and the flexibility that you can do with Closebot to have multiple bots and pass off to other bots and behind the scenes, not to get too techie on you, but you can have multiple different uh, large language models that go into the back of that. So sometimes people use ChatGPT, sometimes people use something called Anthropic. And if any of those ever go down, you have the flexibility to move over to another one instantly right behind the scenes. So it just makes your life with building bots a whole lot easier. And I am super excited. I wanna build an entire company just around these chat bot responding to people and booking people on uh, calendars for local businesses. So that's something that we'll talk about in future videos too. But if you want to get a free trial, go to the link down below, just try it out, see if it's for you. High Level does have conversational booking bots built into their system. So you can try that out as well and see if it's for you. But I found that Closebot has been far more advanced right now. As much as I love High Level for this particular feature, I love Closebot because I think it does a much better job and is only improving. So that's what I got. Also make sure that you go to howtoprofit.com and check out our new site. It's still in development, but you can already see that we're shifting more to basically helping you build an online business, whatever that means. So it could be that you wanna learn more about building a SaaS and a software company. It could be that you just wanna learn how to sell courses or, or how to do affiliate marketing or really any way that you can build income online. I wanna share that with you on howtoprofit.com. So you can go here, enter your email if you're not already on our email list and we'll give you more updates and, and have new newsletters that go out and that type of thing behind the scenes. So with that, I appreciate all of you guys. I'll talk to you again on the next video. Thanks.